Hello everyone and welcome to this tutorial where I will teach you how to connect your Microsoft SQL Server to an SAP HANA Server. My name is Ralph, I am the SAP Business One Solution Architect to the Latin American region and you can find my contact information in this video description. So, there are multiple ways to connect to SAP HANA. And several protocols are available. You can use JDBC, ODBC, MDX and other ways that you can find details on the SAP HANA administration guide. So mainly in this tutorial, since we're going to use Microsoft SQL Server, we need to use the ODBC driver to connect it to SAP HANA. Uh, these drivers are available in a package called SAP HANA Client, uh, and these need to be pre-installed on, on the server where you have the Microsoft SQL uh, before we proceed to the connection to SAP HANA. So you need to download this from the SAP Software Download Center. Uh, in my case, I can find this package on the SAP Business One version for HANA session. Uh, I choose the SAP Business One version that I'm using and then I can go to the path of HANA platform. There you will find uh, according to your operating systems. In this case, we are using Windows 64 bits. Uh, we can we we can download the EMDB client there in other words this is the HANA client HANA client is nothing more than a package full of drivers uh, and ways to connect to SAP HANA which allows applications to connect to SAP HANA so this must be downloaded and pre-installed on the same server where you have your Microsoft SQL otherwise it will not be possible to connect to SAP HANA uh, so with this done you can go ahead and configure your Microsoft SQL Server to uh, connect and retrieve information from uh, SAP HANA database. To do that, we need to go to our Windows Server, here it is, and go to the ODBC configuration. And here, in this case, I'm going to set up my ODBC configuration for 64 bits. What is this configuration we're going to perform in here? You can check the ODBC drivers that are already pre-installed on your server and if you do everything correctly with your HANA client, you will find here the HANA database ODBC available uh, in, this, in, in this server. Here is the version it is using, the HANA version 1.0 and the revision 74, that is my case, the revision I'm using. And the configuration we need to do in this, uh, in this window in here is basically create a new system DSN. A system DSN is, uh, we can compare this to an alias. Uh, we're going to we're gonna register one name, one name only, that will point us to uh, one specific connection, one is, well, in this case, our HANA server. So here I have already configured my HANA 32-bit uh, DSN, and now I'm going to aggregate my HANA 64-bit. Uh, here you can see that you have the HANA database ODBC available. So this is the driver I want to use it. My, da my data source name can be any name. So in my case, I'm going to use HANA64. My description, HANA ODBC 64 bits. And your HANA server and also the port that, it, that it's using. So in my case, this is my HANA server and the port 30015. I can click on connect. It will ask me for the user and password and this is the user from uh, HANA in my in this case system and the password for of system you can click on OK and here you can see here you can successfully connect to your HANA server so everything here is done we already have one system DSN of HANA 64 with the name I give it so this uh, is the first step of configurations on our Windows Server. We already did one alias for the for the ODBC connection with HANA, and now we're gonna go to the SQL Studio and then connect it, it to the HANA server. So to do that, we need to perform two blocks of operation. One first block uh, is to configure what we call linked servers. So uh, Microsoft SQL has one uh, one feature that you can access here on your menu, on your object explorer. You can go to your instance server object and you will find linked servers. 
These linked servers are nothing more than remote servers where you can use it to queries and perform select statements to retrieve information from a remote database. So uh, with this operation here, what we are doing is including a new linked server, pointing it to the HANA server. So you can set, uh, you, you, you're gonna execute one add link server, linked server. You can, you need to set one name for it. Uh, it. It's just a description. So in my case, I'm calling it HANA server and also a description for the product it is using. So in this case, I, I, I place it here, HANA. Uh, then you need to configure the provider and the data source. The provider, uh, this is a fixed name. You need to use the same one I'm using here, which is the Microsoft's OLEDB provider. Uh, in this case, MSDA SQL. Uh, this is a fixed value, as I mentioned. You, uh, it needs to be equally uh, as I'm showing here in this video. In the data source name, here you're gonna place the name of their DSN. You, uh, you just configure it on the ODBC configuration. So uh, if you're remembering, in my case, I use it HANA64. This is the data source I'm gonna use. This will point me to one specifically HANA server with one specific authentication and one in, in one specific port. Uh, so this is the first configuration that it should be performed. The other configuration we're gonna add uh, is, is related to the authentication part. We're gonna add uh, one authentication step for this connection. Uh, the first one is uh, we're, gonna, we're gonna connect to one remote server name, which is the same one we already uh, we configured here previously. Uh, we will not use a local login. We are not using a Windows login authentication to connect to HANA. I will use a remote user and a remote password. Uh, in this case, my system and my password, the system user and the password of this user. Uh, so, with uh, with this uh, with this done, you just need you just need to execute these instructions, and you can see here. That's completely successfully. And if you refresh your linked servers, you can refresh in here, you're gonna see you have a HANA server uh, available now. And you can also test your connection to this HANA server and see that you, you, you are able to connect to HANA. So it's very easy to configure it. You can check uh, this description, uh, the, these instructions on the video description. And with this uh, connection ready, you can start to perform your select operations, your SQL statements on your remote server. So here I, re I have prepared two statements. One statement that will select two fields from one schema called SBO demo BR uh, in the table OCRD. Uh, and the only change you need to perform on your, on your statements is that you need to point it to your remote server, to your linked server. So uh, the name of your linked server, a couple of dots in here, and then you have you 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 can execute this query. So we can execute this. It's a remote query. I'm gathering and retrieving information from my HANA server. So here I have all the business partner, in this case business partner and business partner name. And since you are on HANA, you can also use it to retrieve information from HANA views. So uh, you already know that the HANA views are stored on the sys, uh, SysBeak uh, schema. So this is where HANA places all your views that you develop in, uh, on top of HANA. And also that uh, in this case, I'm using, um, I'm selecting information from one analytic view. Analytic views used to retrieve information on multidimensional ways. So uh, every time you are treating, uh, you are dealing with data from analytic views or calculation views, uh, and they are, uh, since they are multidimensional, you need to group it on a single dimension. So uh, in this case, your, your application, in this case, your uh, SQL, SQL server can read this information and retrieve for you on a single table. So I'm selecting here in this case, the group name. I'm also uh, selecting the gross profit and uh, grouping this by the group name. So we can execute this. And you can see it that you have easily created uh, uh, one connection to your SAP HANA server, and now you are able to retrieve information from this server. Uh, just in a matter of comparison, we can also go directly to our HANA Studio and perform the same query in here. So here is my HANA server, uh, which I'm uh, which I'm connecting into, and basically I need to execute this query.
on the CSPIC schema and then we have it the group name and the gross profit. So I uh, hope you have enjoyed this tutorial on how to link your Microsoft SQL Server to your SAP HANA Server. If you like this video please click on like there on YouTube. Uh, if you want to stay updated regarding new videos you can subscribe to this channel. Uh, if you have suggestions of new videos or new tutorials you want to, to see just place a comment in there. So uh, my name is Rolf. Uh, once again, thank you very much.